Hello, this is Alan. Happy Friday. I got off work and there was a nice package for me of uh, another Gyokuro. This one's from Path of Cha. This is their Gyokuro Hoshino. Um, it was requested that I follow their brewing parameters, so I'm going to do that first and then so it's going to be kind of reverse. Normally I push it the first video and then if it doesn't um, stand up then I go to the uh, manufacturers or not manufacturers the vendors um, recommendations and um, but this time I'll reverse it I'll do the vendors recommendations first and then I'll see if it can um, uh, stand up so I've got um, they recommended between as far as temperature between 55 and 65 mine can only go as low as 60 so I'll just do it right in the middle at 60 and for two minutes the ratio they recommend is one gram per 30 milliliters. So I'm going, so what I've got, this is 200 up to the neck. So I've got 6.7 grams. Um, the leaf, I'll show you that before I pour it out, um, is the, uh, a mixture of whole leaves, um, some broken leaf, and it looks like stems. Um, so I would, they didn't, one, they didn't brag that it was handpicked, and two, because I'm seeing stems, I would say that this is probably used by one of those, um, I don't know the name, but like a hedge trimmer, where they kind of mow down the long lines of tea trees. Um, now stems doesn't mean it's bad. Um, there are literally teas you can buy that is just the stem. Um, Kuki Cha, I believe is what it's called, um, for just standard Sencha stems, and then Karigane uh, for Gyokuro stems. So stems doesn't necessarily mean it's a poor quality tea. So anyway, I digress. Let's get that going. So the water's hot. We're going to set it for two minutes. Oops. Let's go two minutes. And then we'll talk more stats while it brews. So I pour gently now just because I find that they tend to foam. So we'll see the results on this one. Okay, timer's going. All right, so some of the stats, they don't provide the year or the cultivar. So I imagine that it's just kind of a blend of different farmers and they all pull their leaves together and um, sell them together. Um, the location though, uh, like the name, is Hoshino. So um, uh, the, the Hoshino Mura town, so Mura is town or village, um, in Fukuoka. So I've had one other tea from Fukuoka so far and that is from Subimoto's and it was a very intriguing, enjoyable tea. I like it held up to my intense brewing um, uh, parameters so I that combined with the fact that it's right in the price range of Den's Suime that which also held up that this one would also so I'm hopeful we'll discover um, but this first one will honor their wish to um, have it followed the their parameters now what's fun I don't know if you can see it the leaves are actually floating um, as they're absorbing the water, they're slowly, very dancing. You'll get just kind of one at a time. They're floating up. It's kind of fun to watch that. Um, so price, uh, just 41 cents a gram, $2.46 an ounce. So that's right at exactly matching Den's Suime in the same location as Sugimoto. So uh, Hoshino, Mura, Fukuoka, Japan. Um, we are now at 58, 59, and pour. Because it's broken leaf, the, it makes its way through the filter. Um, eventually I'll get one of the fancy uh, Japanese uh, pots that they use. I don't remember the name, but I imagine that'll help minimize um, leaf that comes out. But Hmm. All right, so th the smell is particularly what I've identified as defrosting frozen steamed spinach, which I like, so that's not anything. 
Hmm. And then just kind of an overall sweetness. So, all right. And let's see, their second one, they want at 75. So let's get this heating up to 75 while I taste. Okay. All right, it is pretty transparent and that's partly due to the little ratio of leaf to water for this particular where I'm used to um, double that basically. Um, but it's got it's the kind of standard yellow greenish color. All right. All right, cheers. It has umami. It is only because I normally brew so intense, it is um, mellower, but it's very nice. No sticky mouth fill, so no stringency. I'm getting kind of the umami, just general, no bitterness, nothing on the back of my tongue, nothing on the sides. It's just very, overall, very nice. I like it. I'd say it's a good representative representation of what a Gyokuro is. Um, once we're up to temp, we're almost there. Uh, we'll see how many steeps this can handle. Um, so even though the leaves may not be the most um, photogenic, glamorous looking, um, as I have painfully discovered, just because it's pretty doesn't mean it's tasty. Um, this is very tasty, and um, we'll see how what its endurance level is. Okay, so we're up to temp, and they say 30 seconds for subsequent steeps. And they don't say to increase the time at all, so I guess we'll just leave it at 75, 30 seconds, and we'll see how many steeps that can handle at that. So... Get the timer going. There's a few bubbles. Okay, I'll progress my T20 to the second steep. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah. And pour. is a little bit greener as kind of what I'm seeing as the pattern for the second steep of Gyokuro is it, it the first one kind of wakes it up pulls out the lighter umami flavors and then the second steep starts actually pulling out more um, of the chlorophyll all right so it still has a lot of smell a lot of aroma so that's promising as far as the liquor being able to have a good flavor all right. Oh, let's get this back on the... On there. It is hotter, so I'll try to cool it off a little bit. Now, it's not very foamy. There's no bubbles now in this, so that... I don't know. I'm kind of seeing a mixture of some that are foamy and some that aren't. So I haven't had enough experience with them to know if it which way is desirable. Um, I'll just keep finding out as I drink through them. But uh, here's the second one. Cheers. There's still flavor in there. It's very light, but again, it's partly because the lower leaf to water ratio than I'm used to. Very light astringency starting to come out in this one. It's not so much on the sides, so it's not very tart experience or tightening. It's just um, kind of lightly sticking to the roof of my mouth on this one. 
still no bitterness. I'm not feeling anything in the back of my tongue or tasting. So I say steep two was a go. Let's see if it can do a third. So they just same temp and brewing time. So 75 degrees for another 30 seconds. Excellent. About halfway there. Kind of dripping a bit. It's pouring pretty good. It's not too clogged. Um, could be due to fewer relief, um, but it could also be due to more ratio of whole leaves. Okay. The aroma is diminishing, but it it's still present. Still a nice green um, getting pulled out, so that's hints that there's probably some flavor still coming out. That on. Oh, this is the third steep, and um, I can still I can see tiny particulates. Not so much leaf particles like the green, but almost like the hairs, um, like from a white tea, where a white tea tends to be hairy. So that I think is what's kind of coming out at this moment. All right, steep three. Cheers. It is, um, it's, it's weaker. So it might only make three steeps. Almost no astringency, so I imagine that's also a, a sign that we're using it up. No bitterness either, so it's still still nice and light. It's a lot sweeter, and that might be where I, I could just be confusing wateriness with sweetness, um, but I'm experiencing a little bit sweetness, so. All right, I'm going to call it at just three. Um, I, I don't think a fourth would do much as far as the experience. So what we will do as I standard do is now we'll let it sing one more time. We'll drink, let it have an encore. We'll see what these three steeps together are like. No foam, so that, that, that's at least a feature I'm noticing. No, like you'll get the bubbles that happen when you pour, but it's not staying and it's not foamy. There's kind of a difference between foam and bubbles. But, all right, let's see what the encore is. Cheers. It's nice, I'm getting the, the steam spinach notes again. Um, almost no astringency. It's very nice. I would say that it's a very safe way, that this one would be a safe one to introduce somebody to. Um, May leaves, while I love the intensity of it is off-putting. I, ha I have a coworker who just straight up said, this is disgusting. <laughs> so um, this, this would probably be a more approachable one for um, and just overall good representation. So uh, we'll end it there. I will kind of clean up and we will see, um, and I'll get everything ready to do the, the intense version where 
I do six grams per hundred mils, so very intense. I'll put two, uh, 12 grams of leaf, so almost double, and we'll see if it holds up. Um, so for now, we'll see you in a bit.